Corning hyperstack cell culture vessels are designed to increase cell yields in the same spatial footprint as larger stacked vessels. Corning's hypertechnology uses gas permeable film to eliminate headspace within the vessel. As a result, the 12 and 36 layer hyperstack vessels have the same spatial footprint as traditional 2 and 10 layer stacked culture vessels. In this video, we will demonstrate the recommended procedure for filling and emptying a single hyperstack vessel. This procedure should not be used for vessels that are connected together. Please contact a Corning account manager or a bioprocess specialist when working with connected vessels. Before we demonstrate the procedure, let's review the components of the hyperstack vessel. The stackette is the individual cell culture chamber. It is comprised of a top plate and gas permeable film. Each stackette has a total of 500 square centimeters of growth area. The tracheal space is an open air space between each stackette layer. It allows gas exchange to occur through the gas permeable film. The stackettes are connected by two manifolds to form a module. The HyperStack 36 vessel has three modules with 12 stackettes in each module. Liquid moves in and out of the vessel through the liquid manifold. Air moves in and out of the vessel through the air manifold. The liquid handling tubing is used to make all closed system fluid manipulations. One end has an MPC quick connect, the other end connects to the liquid manifold. The vent tubing connects the vent filter to the air manifold. The chase tubing is part of the liquid handling tubing. It is used to evacuate excess fluid from the liquid handling tubing. Before filling the vessel, close all clamps on the hyperstack vessel and the source vessel containing cells and media. Connect the source vessel to the hyperstack vessel in a biological safety hood using the MPC quick connect on the liquid handling tubing or tube weld. The hyperstack is a closed system, so it can be located outside of the hood. After making the aseptic connection, place the hyperstack vessel on its side in the fill position. Place a clamp or other small object beneath the vessel to raise the front end about 10 degrees. The air manifold should be at the highest point of the vessel. Position the source vessel at the same level as the hyperstack vessel. To begin filling, open the liquid handling tubing clamp and air vent tubing clamp. Open the source vessel clamp to allow media to fill the hyperstack vessel. To control the fill rate, slowly raise or lower the height of the source vessel to increase or decrease flow into the hyperstack vessel. The recommended rate for pump or gravity filling is 1 to 2 liters per minute. To prevent the vent filter from wetting out, be careful not to raise the source vessel too high, which will fill the vessel too quickly. A wet filter prevents air from leaving the hyperstack vessel, which pressurizes the vessel and increases the risk of vessel failure. Keep the air vent tubing clamp open during filling. Closing the clamp will cause the vessel to overfill, pressurize, and possibly fail. Obstructing the airflow from the vent or bending the tubing can also increase internal pressure and cause the vessel to fail. When the vessel is three quarters full, you can use the liquid handling tubing clamp as a handbrake to slow the flow of liquid into the hyperstack vessel and prevent overfilling. Never close the vent filter tubing clamp to control the flow rate. When liquid approaches the fill mark on the air manifold, close the liquid handling tubing clamp to stop flow into the hyperstack vessel. You may notice liquid levels continue to rise slightly even with the fill line clamp closed. This is normal and expected. If the hyperstack vessel is filled until it is visibly full, the vessel will overflow and pressurize, which increases the risk of vessel failure. To isolate liquid into the hyperstack layers, place the hyperstack vessel into the isolation position with both sets of manifolds at the highest point. Lower the source vessel below the level of the hyperstack. Hold the chase filter upright above the media level in the vessel and open the chase tubing clamp. Allow excess media to empty back into the source vessel. Close the source vessel tubing clamp when complete. Keeping the chase tube filter in an upright position, open the liquid handling tubing clamp. Liquid and air will equilibrate across all modules and manifolds. 
close all three clamps. The source container can either be disconnected in the hood or left attached to the hyperstack vessel during incubation. Turn the vessel back to the incubation position. Remove the hyperstack vessel from the incubator. Aseptically connect the liquid handling tubing via MPC quick connects or welding to a collection vessel. Place the hyperstack vessel in the fill position with the collection vessel lower than the height of the hyperstack vessel. Open the clamps on the collection container and the liquid handling tubing of the hyperstack vessel to initiate drainage. After liquid begins to drain, open the vent tubing clamp to allow air into the hyperstack vessel to continue the liquid flow. As with filling, do not allow the liquid to flow too quickly. Use the liquid handling clamp as a handbrake to control the flow or vary the height of the collection vessel. If liquid drains too quickly, a vacuum will be created inside the vessel that can damage the cells and the vessel. During the empty procedure, elevate the back end of the hyperstack vessel using a clamp or small object to about a 10 degree angle. This will ensure that the hyperstack vessel drains completely. After the hyperstack vessel and liquid handling tubing are empty, the vessel can be turned to equilibration position and the tubing lifted to chase the media. Close both the clamp on the liquid handling tube line and the clamp on the collection vessel tubing. The procedure is now complete.